This morning, an endless cycle of frustration for people living in one East Mecklenburg County neighborhood. The Rocky Ridge community off Albemarle Road and Rocky River Church Road is littered with potholes. And for years, homeowners have tried and failed to get someone to maintain the roads. Every year, new people are buying homes in this community without knowing this. And one new homeowner contacted WBTV, hoping to get answers. Our consumer investigator, Caroline Hicks, is on the case of these areas nicknamed Orphan Roads. The Rocky Ridge community is in an unincorporated area of the county outside of the city of Charlotte. The developer never turned it over to the North Carolina Department of Transportation to maintain the roads. And thus, since the late 1990s, no one has been maintaining these roads. New homeowners now tell me they want to help others avoid falling into the same trap. To call this a bumpy ride would be an understatement. It's uh, dangerous. Todd Knock asked us to come out to Hidden Grove Trail to see it for ourselves. Several other neighbors joined him. I have gotten rocks and tried to fill in the potholes. It, it really wasn't this big, but now that it's gotten out of control, it really doesn't really help that much. Property records show developer Don Galloway Homes of North Carolina first sold houses here in the late 1990s. According to the state, that company has since been dissolved. I've called the city, I've called the state, I've called the county with no luck at all. No luck because none of those agencies are required to maintain it. To help us with this issue. Throughout the years, neighbors have held meetings. State legislation was even introduced to address orphan roads. But nothing has moved forward and nothing has changed. So we're, you know, between a rock and a pothole. According to NCDOT, there are more than 7,500 orphan roads within subdivisions in the state of North Carolina. People living on them have a few options. Those outside of city limits can apply to get a neighborhood annexed or to get a special assessment for street improvements by the county. You can go around the neighborhood and get assessments for a signature of 75% of the homeowners, but 75 of the percent of these homes are probably not owned by homeowners. Corporate landlords have taken over about a quarter of the homes here. So it sounds like all of you moved to this neighborhood not knowing that you were going to have this problem on your hands. No. No. No, we didn't. Uh, yeah, that's accurate. Realtors did not notify them, and many of them missed this sign. I've never seen that sign. I've been here four years. Me. Where is it? Uh, that that <laughs> entrance. Marking where state maintenance ends. Oh, it's on the other end. Yeah, I didn't on the other end. Oh, yeah, okay. As they say they're considering moving. I'd never heard of it before yeah. an orphan neighborhood. They're hoping for more transparency for the future. Not once was this issue brought up when we bought, and uh, that's why we're standing here today. I reached out to the North Carolina Real Estate Commission and the NC Realtors Association to find out whether realtors are required to disclose this information to homeowners. I'm told brokers are not trained to search titles or determine whether there is a road maintenance agreement for private roads. But according to the commission, they should make inquiries about these agreements. In the meantime, neighbors in Rocky Ridge are considering raising whatever funds they can to get Get someone to fix this pothole, which of course is only a short term solution. Reporting in the studio, Caroline Hicks, WBTV, on your side.